Kanis Fatima was verbally assaulted by a self-proclaimed Nazi outside of Winnipeg, Manitoba in early July. The video you're about to see includes some very disturbing and harsh language and may not be suitable for sensitive viewers. No, I'm being racist. Yeah, no shit on you. No, I'm being racist. I'm a fucking Nazi, bitch. You are being racist. I'm a Nazi. You are being racist. You know what a Nazi is? You shouldn't do that to me. Fuck you, too. You shouldn't do that to me. Take your head towel off and no, punch where you did. Yeah, why should I take it off? Take it off. Why should I take it off? It supports Muslims. I can race it any way I want. It supports Muslims. It doesn't matter. Why are you? This is my country. Excuse then go me, back to your This country. is my country. No, it's not. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're being racist. What are you doing? What's your fucking problem? They have just as much as the right to fucking be here. No, seriously. This is embarrassing. I love this country. Good for you. I live here. I do taxes. And I do a job. You don't even have to explain yourself because you're just as much Canadian as you are. Thank you very much. You betcha. Thank this you. is This is embarrassing. And this, don't even let this bother you. Thank you. Unfortunately, we're living in a time in which those who are angry and have extreme ideas feel empowered. These attitudes do not just happen. People do not wake up one day and say, I'm a Nazi, or join a terrorist organization. It has been a part of them for a long time. They just needed the right conditions and a little push to get them started. Publicly and proudly declaring that he is a Nazi is a very disturbing thing to see. The ideology of Nazism is based on a foundation and based on arguments that superior people have a right to dominate other people and purge society of supposed inferior elements. Now let's think about that. Purge society of inferior elements. This is a horrifying reminder of what mankind has done throughout history to purge those who are considered less than. Ideas of superiority are one of mankind's greatest diseases and lead to the worst of crimes. Take this incident. An individual sees a free brown woman practicing freedom of expression by dressing within her rights, and he freely declares, I am a Nazi, which means I am better than you, you do not have the same rights as I do, so anything I do to you is justified, even if it means taking your life and those of your family, your friends, and your neighbors. You must be purged. This is the Nazi belief. The world seems to be confused about concepts and ideas regarding freedom of speech. Because the internet has no borders, most of the planet believe that the First Amendment rights of the U.S. citizens apply outside of that country. They do not. Most in society recognize acceptable limits. Those who do not recognize reasonable limits are always declaring they are quelling my speech, I have no rights to free expression, and so on. If they had the correct understanding of the principles of freedom of speech and combined that with proper facts and spoke based on those facts and not based on emotions, they would rarely be accused of crossing the line. As Muslims, we are taught to avoid speaking about things we have little knowledge of to prevent creating discord within the society. We are encouraged to think carefully about what we are going to say and what is the impact of our words. Even if we are correct, we are taught that if the conditions are not right, we should not speak. For example, to speak the truth at the wrong time can lead to great harm. And if there's a chance of harm, then we have to reconsider our actions. Our ideas about freedom of expression have to change. We need to think of free speech not as a privilege, but as a responsibility. Our tongue is our greatest weapon. We have to learn to use it wisely. Unfortunately, most only care about their right to say something with little to no care for the consequences. May Allah keep us safe. May he reward our sister Kaniz for her courage and may he protect our sisters, especially those who are targeted by such cowards. Assalamu alaikum.